to be around. Oh, yeah. So, welcome to Sunday breakfast. Um, what we're having is Italian sweet sausage, banana pancakes, and eggs, pretty much. But I never invited you to breakfast, so I said, why not? So right now, I'm just browning my Italian sweet sausage. It's the kind that is like ready to eat and just warm it up, but I cook mine thoroughly because I trust nothing. And I just added water at the bottom of the pan. I'm not cooking it in oil. I don't want all that grease, and plus the sausage makes its own oil, so... Yeah, I'm just browning those. And then when I get to the pancake portion, I will show you how I make my knee in the pancake. In my little ass kitchen, right, babe? Yeah. Our little ass kitchen, look, 360. Woo! We get 360. We get 360. No wall behind us. Top of the head, son. Top of the head, top of the head. I know, I don't care. It's Sunday morning, and I'm making breakfast for my family. Ain't no fashion show. This will be the only time I'll be catching washing dishes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Why y'all in my business? Get on my face. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i will be back all right so the way i make my banana pancakes first of all i use a measuring cup to pour my batter into because i just think it makes the nicer nicer round pancakes onto my griddle so i'm using about two bananas <clears throat> And what I'm going to do oh, I can always, is use this side of my grater, which is the chunkier slice side of the grater. And all right, now that I have my bananas thinly sliced, what I'm going to do is use my Aunt Mama. You need your Aunt your Mama pancake mix. Yes, it's all in. And what I have in here is one and a quarter cup of water already added. And um, what I'm going to do is just put the pancake mix in there. And then add two cups of mix, but I just go by sight. And the thickness and consistency, I like them. Or you can do the measurement on the cup itself. I mean, like on the measuring cup itself. I just like the way they turn out when they're in the measuring cup when you add them to the griddle because it makes it has the spout. It's just easier to pour. Alright, so now just wanna get a nice smooth consistency. That way you can see if any of the powder like I just love using the measuring cup. I got this from my grandma. She used to make griddle cakes, and she always used the um, measuring cup. And the pancakes always came out perfect. Always. Ain't never have a bad grandmama pancake in my life. R.I.P. So you just want to get it smooth, not too thick either. I like mine kind of thin. Alright, and after you get it the right consistency, that's when you're going to add your bananas. And I'm going to add about that much bananas, which is a half a cup, if you're doing it by measurement. Maybe, yeah, half a cup of bananas. And you just want to 
stir them in there with it. Stir them in. And there you go. Perfect. If you don't see little banana bits, it's fine. Because as long as they're banana flavored, you'll be alright. But I like seeing my little bit. <laughs> and you can see them. And see how the batter drips? That's like perfect. Alright, so now we're going to warm up the griddle. My stove griddle. I don't have an electric one. And I will show you what to do. I'm going to use both burners on my stove. The front and the back. And I'm putting them both on a medium heat. So. See I have both burners lit. I have them on. Number two. Because this pan gets hot fast and I want them evenly cooked and I don't want them to burn. And the banana can burn. So you have to be really careful. And now what I'm going to do is just put some butter on the pan and start laying my pancakes on them. Alright, so now I'm just adding the butter evenly. And as you see, the sausage is still browning. And now that these are almost done, it's perfect time to put the pancakes in. Alright, so you want the pancakes to bubble at the top. This is what you want them to look like before you turn them. And then, bam. See how they're nice and fluffy. And... them showing right <laughs> and look how fluffy look at the consistency they're not flat they're just gorgeous and there's bananas in there so that's how you do it make sure you get those craters at the top that's how you know when to flip it yes Italian sauces and I'm sure you know how to make eggs I'm really sure I don't have to show y'all how to make eggs Oh, my baby allergies getting on her nerves. And I'm redoing her hair, so I look a little messy. Mm. Rebraiding it. But yeah, she learned how to cook. This was like the first thing I taught you to cook, wasn't it? Yeah. With pancakes? She need to get hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs and mm -hmm. eggs and noodles. And I already got eggs, though. Yeah, you got eggs now. We're still working on the uh, pancakes. I can't. But you're getting better with it. Um. Yeah, which ones are done, ready to flip? This one. Yeah. Oops. It's cool. Just let it cook a little bit, right where it's at. 
Because if you move it now, it's going to tear it apart. Just flip that middle one that's ready to flip. Because there's craters at the top. Why you flip? That's what I, they look like moon craters. Okay. I don't know. There you go. <coughs> then mommy get this. Thing. This one got me. So the crater right there. See how that's not done yet? Mm hmm. Don't touch this. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. If you do, use your um your mitt if you want to hold it, okay? Always use a mitt. Alright, that last one you <coughs> that last one ready to flip yet? Mm -hmm. No, still on the bundle. There you go. Good observation, Booger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do we need a mitt? Because always it's like paper, kind of, and then. But you can't feel the heat, can you? No, but. Yeah, well, that's why you need a mitt. It's like paper. Kind of. Is this? All right, you want to pour the next one? Mm-hmm. You got the pouring down yet? Yeah. All right, here. I'm you got it? I'm kind of clumsy, so nobody. <laughs> Wait, let me put <laughs> some butter. Yeah, it's just yeah, but there's butter over here. Too. Ready? Let's go. Well, you can only like fit two now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you made them big. I know you always do big. Remember the one we gave Daddy like, last time and doing was super big? He can't even eat it. I had to eat the half of it. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, well, put that down and then you gotta flip them. And they're bubbly. Wait. Look at one. that big old piece of banana. Wait, what was that one? <laughs> <laughs> This one? Or this one? No, it ain't. Not even. Huh. Not yet. This, this side right here, this side. Craters. Craters, see? It's an awesome word. I guess. We're laying our kitchen floor tomorrow. I cannot wait. So I just had to do that. Mm. Please say Matt. Mm. Uh, Matt. Where's Matt? Mm. I always need the mitt from like. What's the mitt for? Uh. Woo! Oh! <laughs> that mitt. The big old banana. A pancake made that. I oh, know. That's like a pancake. The banana, I mean. That's big. I can't remember. You know Wrong. Good girl. I'm <laughs> just gonna keep this off. I keep on using it. <laughs> Good girl. You're getting there. I'm getting One there. day you're going to start frying chicken and mac and cheese and collard greens. <laughs> so, I'm making double cheddar eggs. And that's the secret. Ragu double cheddar sauce. Just add it. Um, to the egg mixture, mix well, and make them like you make your normal eggs, except now they're going to be double cheddar flavored.
What y'all know about that? Uh huh. This is what it looks like plated. The Italian sausage, double cheddar eggs, and my banana pancakes. And this is Sunday dinner. And Gabby helped us make breakfast. I mean, Sunday breakfast. Did I just say dinner? Because mm -hmm. I'm so used to Sunday dinner. We invite them to Sunday dinner. Oh, and I made the pancakes and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you proud of your pancakes and eggs? You should be. No, look at that nana. Look at that nana in there. Y'all see it? I look can't. at that. And that's all throughout this pancake. God, I love banana pancakes. <laughs> I started cooking around your age. Davion, you got about good year, boy. He got it all because he eat everything. Baby, I don't eat eggs. Yeah, so his is off. Pancakes and sausage. I don't eat the ones from Hardboiled Eggs. I know, for Easter. But you don't even like the yolk. You like egg whites. I wonder if I um, scramble egg whites when you eat them. They won't be yellow, they'll be white. You might like them. Might. <laughs> might like them. Like mighty? Or like, I might get dirty. Let me see, is that open? I might get dirty. I'm the only one who waits to eat my pancakes. Sorry. No, I can't eat them. I don't like syrup on my stuff. I think I'm the only one in America. That doesn't like syrup on their mm -hmm. eggs and sausage, and if we had bacon and stuff like that, I don't like syrup touching. Ew, syrup on eggs? Right, that's what I say. But people I like eat them. McDonald's got that whole griddle sandwich that comes between two pancakes. I'm sorry, but I eat it like that. Well, yours is separated anyway. Maybe I should get a separate separator dish, <laughs> like the kids got. What kids? <laughs> what other kids am I talking about, bro? In this, I was guessing that was some lane because I don't know what that is. So a separator dish where it's separated. I could eat my pancakes like that oh. because the syrup's not touching the other food. That's one of my pet peeves. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Me personally, <laughs> all that is going to the same place. <laughs> So what? It's not tasting the same on your tongue. Can you give me the syrup? Yes, we cheese. Seriously, I like it. You like the syrup touching everything? Please don't fix on me. I don't. He likes the syrup touching everything but the eggs. <laughs> I like it too on the eggs. Yo, uh, <laughs> did you just purposely put it on there? No, not yet. Please don't put no syrup on them eggs in front of me. I'm going to gag. Okay, Mama, cover your eyes. <laughs> no, that's so gross. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was yeah, crazy breakfast. Oh. No, this is shirt breakfast. Because I always have to wear a shirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it's I shirt breakfast? Yes. Yeah. That's because we have company. So what are we, shirts and skins? <laughs> For real. We have company, so you wear clothes. That's your boy. Nuh -uh, I'm yeah, that's my boy, because I don't like clothes either. I'm blaming.
But when we have company over, you can't can't show them all the good. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm just saying. All right, well. The subject just has seeds. <laughs> that was funny. Um, Thank you for coming to Sunday breakfast. Yeah, that's crazy. Deuces. That's it. That's such a